Hey everyone, my name is Kristen and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Uh, happy Monday to you guys. I am in Willow Creek today and I am making a starter home and I am using only base game and one of the new kits. Um, I believe it's storybook nursery kit. I, at first glance, I did not like this kit almost at all. <laughs> um, I was like, oh. I don't love those curtains above the crib. I wish they made the crib without those curtains. Well, I ended up buying the kit anyways because that is what I seem to do. <laughs> Even if I don't love it, I, I still buy it for some reason. I don't know why. I think I need help, guys. <laughs> I think I need help for my Sims addiction. But um, once I got in the game and I actually was making this house with those items, I fell in love with this kit. I think this kit is so stinking cute and perfect for nurseries. We've desperately been needing more nursery stuff for like the new infant life stage. Well, I say new, but it, they're not really new anymore, right? <laughs> I think they've been out for quite a while now, but I wanted to limit myself with only using that kit in base game and make a whole house. So basically, what you'll find in this house is everything's base game besides the two nurseries that are in this house. So this is actually a family starter home, um, but I was able to keep it at about 20,000 and like 300 simoleons. I can't remember exactly off the top of my head, but it was something around there. So I don't believe you're able to get this starter home when you have just one sim when you're starting out, but if you have a couple or a single parent or a couple and a child, you'll definitely be able to have this house right off the bat and you'll even have some extra simoleons to spare at the end and so that was really good i really wanted to try to make this under twenty thousand so that you could have a single sim living here but it just did not work out that way i didn't want to get rid of any of the decorations at the end of my build uh when i went and finished the build looked at the amount that it was um, I noticed it was a little bit above the 20,000 and I was like, okay, let me go back and look to see exactly what I can remove and I did not want to remove anything. <laughs> um, everything just matched in this house and if I was to take anything away, it just wouldn't be the same. And so I ultimately just decided to leave everything and I am, I'm, I'm really happy that I did. So right now I have the shape of the house completed. The exterior paint actually changes and it changes for the better, trust me. I don't like the way this house is looking at the moment. I remember thinking that as I was building this, I was like, oh God, this is uh, not good whatsoever. And I seem to do that, I seem to like start builds, get halfway through, or like a pretty good ways through. And then I'm like, oh God, this is like so bad. <laughs> and then I just like, I, I toss it. I quit building and I start over. And I actually did not do that in this case and I am happy that I did not. It ended up turning out pretty good. I mean, you guys obviously see what it looked like at the end by the thumbnail. So you guys be the judge of this. Do you think this house turned out pretty good? Um, I, is it the best I've done? No. Uh, no, it's not. But it is pretty good for a starter home. Um, I've seen a lot worse starter homes. I've done a lot worse starter homes, <laughs> especially back when I first started my channel like several months ago. Um, it, it turned out pretty cute after all. But yeah, with all of that being said, I believe we are going into the interior now so I'm just like creating the floor plan I'm putting windows where we need windows and trying to decide how exactly I want to lay this house out um, I, if I remember correctly this came together pretty easy um, like this was a one-and-done sort of thing like there's the living room the kitchen there's three bedrooms and one bathroom in this house and then there's a hallway so that's it worked out really good. I, 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 there's no complaints on my end. <laughs> I probably could have fit two bathrooms. That hallway could have been a bathroom. So if you move in this house and you realize you really need another bathroom, you could totally make that set, that other hallway 
its own bathroom and then you can knock down that wall to get to that bedroom on the opposite side so then you'll have like access way to all of the different rooms and this kitchen is a pretty small kitchen oh that must have been when i first realized oh yeah there are new items let me check those out <laughs> and so i was just looking at them outside really fast see what we had to offer um i believe i did one nursery with an infant and then well yeah with an infant and then the other one i just did like a newborn baby so we have two nurseries in this house this is a young family that lives here i figured a mom and a dad or two moms, two dads, you know, uh, it really doesn't matter. And then they have two children and the two children are very, very close in age. They did not wait to have a second child when they first had their first child. <laughs> um, so yeah, one infant and one newborn baby. Either that or I figured maybe the mom has a baby on the way and so that nursery is their set up and ready for their new baby on the way. And as far as like the colors go on the interior, nothing special. It's really like light, light colored, <laughs> beige, light blue, and then like maybe a light pink. I believe I did like a pink room and a blue room. That's something that I do often, I've come to realize. I I like to stick with pinks and blues. I. I don't know why I just do <laughs> um, I like to have different like options in the build that I'm doing I don't like to do like all boys rooms or all girls rooms or anything like that I try to mix it up a little bit so this is the new crib I think we only had one new crib other than the bastonets that came in the new kit and I think it's so cute with the little like ribbon bows and stuff on the outside of it and then there is the new changing table across from the crib and those curtains are super cute I didn't love them when I first seen them in like the render of the new pack but once it's in the game and you see all the different color options I think it's so cute. I love this kit. It's so adorable. I see myself using it pretty often. I'm not gonna lie. Like when I'm not doing pack restricted builds, I'll probably use this in all of the nurseries. Oh, and it also has that cute little mobile there. Um, I thought that was so cute with the little hot air balloon on it. And then there's the shelf. I just put that above the changing table and it comes with these pictures as well with the little infant picture in there and then the newborn picture. And I think it's so stinking cute. So I ended up using as many items from this kit as possible. Um, I don't remember if I used literally every single item or not. I don't think I used every single one. I mean, this is a starter home, so I had to you know keep myself from going overboard <laughs> but there's also this little like closet area for the baby and I think that's so cute I love that item there's that new uh what do you call those things um where you lay the baby down on I I don't have kids guys so I don't know what the name of that is it's like a play it's not a playpen obviously I do know that um you just set the baby down there and it's got the little mobile thing at the top that they play with their toys and they reach on it and um, they have a new one of those and super cute um, it's kind of bland I feel like they should have had some with some patterns on there um, as far as I can remember I think they were all just like plain colors so yeah that's that's not ideal that's not the best but you know I guess we have to take what we can get right <laughs> um, and as far as taking what we can get uh, I guess there's a new pack coming out I have not seen a trailer release for it yet I anticipate that's probably coming in the next couple of weeks and it's coming out on Halloween so that's like a month away as I'm filming this it's about a month away so I am thinking that trailer will be coming maybe even next week so I am curious to see what that trailer is going to reveal and how it's how it's gonna be I know it's like called life and death or something like that so I really hope they have funerals coming um, and then it has like the Grim Reaper and they're the new Grim Reaper rewards guys they don't work for me are you having the same problem where 
the little uh, UI in the corner, it doesn't show you the tasks. And it took me like a day to figure out that there's supposed to be a task there. And I'm like, how do we know what we're supposed to do? This is actually harder than they've ever done this before because there's no like tasks. It doesn't tell you what to do. It just says, learn how to make ambrosia. And that's it. So then I did a little bit of research and I came to realize that it's in fact broken. And I honestly, I know this is like far-fetched. We should know this by now. <laughs> it should not be a surprise by now, but I was actually surprised that they would release something broken like that. I mean, and then not come back with a patch and fix it right away. Um, it was quite sad and disappointing. I'm not gonna lie. I was looking forward to those Reaper rewards and I tried guys. My mods folder is out. And I've tried doing new saves, I've deleted the local thumb cache, whatever that's called, and it still does not work. The only thing I have not tried is repairing my game. And quite frankly, I don't want to sit through that. <laughs> so that totally stinks. And so yeah, I'm gonna have to figure out a way around that because I really want those rewards. Some of them look really cute and that's just something fun to do and I was looking forward to it, I'm not gonna lie. So um, yeah, that is something I'm going to have to play around with. Hopefully they release a hot fix. They should have done it already, but at this point um, I'll take what I can get and hopefully they do it within the next week or so so that we can get all of the rewards and do the quests too. I thought it was super fun that they came out with actual quests and it's not like it was last time where you had to just log in every day and then you got the reward. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't even do that to be honest, but um, there's quests this time. And so it gives you a little bit of work to do. It gives you something to work towards and it was a good idea and they just did not incorporate it correctly. Um, yeah, but anyways, uh, I am just putting more landscaping on the outside. I was really indecisive on the landscaping on the outside of this house. I don't quite know why I was so indecisive, but I was, and it's been a couple of weeks since I've actually built this house. I built it like pretty much when the pack first came out, and so I don't quite remember what I ended up doing with the landscaping. <laughs> I know at one point I put like purple flowers out and like those purple like weed flowers in the debug menu. I thought it was pretty. I thought it like brought out some of the colors of the house, but then it got to be too much. I think I added too much. It, that's the sort of thing that needs to just be like details here and there, but yeah, I did overboard and I ended up just scratching the whole thing. I didn't like the way that it looked. And so I ended up putting something else. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. I cannot remember. <laughs> right now I'm just getting those debug bushes out. The ones that are like super untrimmed. I love these. I think they're super realistic. And we don't have anything like this in the regular build by menu. They're all like super manicured bushes and I love building with the unmanicured ones as well especially for like family houses or starter houses or houses with like huge gardens I just feel like that's more realistic I am not the type and I'm sure you guys most likely are not either to go outside and trim my bushes on a daily basis or a weekly basis I that's just not something I like to do <laughs> so my bushes look pretty un unkept and so I feel like that's super realistic and just a good a good little detail that I love to do in most of my builds and so I'm also just putting out some furniture outside oh here is where I pulled out those purple flowers um, yeah I mean don't get me wrong they're super pretty um, I think just by putting them under all of the bushes it just got to be too much and I probably should have just done uh, some here and there, but I ended up just doing away with all of it. I want to try to do a build with these purple flowers again. Um, we'll see how that goes though. I am actually, uh, stay tuned for this next video I have coming out on Friday. Um, I am starting a series, since it's spooky season guys, I love this time of year, not just Halloween, but just 
the holidays in general. Um, I know kind of towards Christmas, people get, they get a little bit of attitudes here and there, you know, uh, they don't really find the Christmas spirit as much as a lot of us would like, but something about the holiday season is just super cheery and fun to me. I mean, it's so action packed. There's always a different holiday coming up. So these next few months are going to be so fun, but during the spooky season, I am actually Oh, let me just say, I can't stand those circular uh, foundations you can't put terrain under because it makes it cornered. Um, you guys probably seen that happen. So I that's just a little nitpicky thing, a pet peeve for me. They need to fix that, um, but I don't see it happening anytime soon. So at, at this moment, I'm just not going to put terrain paint underneath a curved foundation, I guess. Um, and here is where I'm changing the colors of the house to like a rock and a blue color, I believe I did. Um, I either keep this yellow color or I change it to blue, but yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I change it to blue. But anyways, like I was saying guys, I am starting this Friday, I am building um, a house for each of the occults and I'll be posting it on my channel once every week probably every friday but we will see how that goes so i post twice a week um i've, I've missed a few weeks guys i'm aware of that I, I apologize just you know life gets life gets busy and that's just it's the only excuse i have <laughs> just bear with me during my absences but i will always come back i love you know building houses for you guys and talking to you guys and reading your comments and all of that, I appreciate it so much. Even if I am absent from YouTube, I am still thinking about my channel and all of you and what I will be doing when I come back. And so I just want to take a moment to thank all of you guys that have bared with me through this whole few months um, of me coming and going. Um, I'm hoping that will stop. I have gotten ahead of a few videos and I'm hoping life will just calm down for me. I've been going through quite a bit lately and so I've just been super busy and that's the only reason why I have not been doing any videos just because of how busy I've been. So thank you to all of you guys and all of my subscribers and all of you that have liked my videos and if you have not already I guess I'll take this time to invite you guys to please subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this video, I do so many speed builds of starter homes. I That's mainly all I do is speed builds. And I do a lot of starter homes and I do a lot of base game only builds and I'm starting to do more uh, one pack builds where it's base game plus one pack. So if you enjoy all of that, then please subscribe to my channel guys. And I really appreciate it. And also, if you're interested in seeing some occult content in the next month uh, during this Halloween season, then definitely subscribe. I am going to be posting something once a week like I was, you know, like I was just mentioning to you guys. And I'm going to go through each of the occults. And of course, I had to start with my favorite occult, which are witches and so I have a spellcaster house coming on Friday this week on October 4th I believe is this Friday's date so you know definitely stay tuned for that and of course like I said subscribe if you have not already so you don't miss it and you know liking this video helps me out so much guys if you enjoyed it please leave a like on this video it helps the algorithm kick it to uh, more simmers just like you and me and it'll help grow my channel and I would appreciate it so much. So yeah, I mean, we're pretty much nearing the end guys. I I hope you enjoyed this house. It I think it came out super cute. Uh, let me know down below in the comments what your favorite part of the house is or maybe there is something you would like to see me change up next time, then definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know guys, I love hearing your input and it makes me learn, it makes me really think of different things to do. If you have ideas of a house, leave it down below. Uh, like I said, I'm doing all the occults once a week through this Halloween season, so that's gonna be fun. But I'm also going to be doing a normal house on Mondays every week, and so if you have any ideas whatsoever, whether it be houses or community lots, whatever the case may be, 
leave it down below. Um, and if you would like to see an occult style bar or restaurant, let me know. I'm still going to be doing the houses once a week, but you know, Monday's up in the air. And so I, it, there's no rules against doing two occult type venues in one week. It is Halloween after all. So I want to take advantage of it while it is here. I've been waiting for the season for like months now and I'm so excited. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that uh, spell or not spellcasters. <laughs> I already mentioned them, but mermaids and aliens are in fact included in the occult houses that I'm going to be doing. I know ghosts are technically an occult in this game as well. I'm not sure how I would do a ghost house, but I might figure it out. We will see, guys. Uh, with all that being said, I hope you all have an amazing week ahead of you, and stay tuned for all of my occult videos. Really looking forward to it. Alright guys, I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day or night, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!